When you are very first setting up your new ClickSlow account, there are five places that you want to make sure are connected and integrated. So you're going to head down here to settings, then scroll a little bit. You want to make sure that your domains are connected. This is now last pass. You do this through your domain provider. So wherever you purchased your domain, that might be GoDaddy, Namecheap. Um, there's a, a lot of them. So whichever one that is, you're going to need to utilize that to connect your DNS settings to this domain. And I have videos down below that will go through in detail each one of these steps for setup. But this is just the, the overview of the things you're going to want to set up you are going to want your integrations. You'll want to integrate your Google account so that you can get your um, calendar to, to cross over. You'll want to set up your Facebook and Instagram because you can social media post through ClickSlow. If you use Google My Business, you can set that up. If you use TikTok, you can set that up and then Definitely, you'll want to set up Stripe, and Stripe also in here is where PayPal is. So you can follow along these instructions, and again, I will have a specific video for each one of these things, but you want to get your Stripe and your PayPal set up so that you can take payments. Next, under, we gotta go back to settings, we got end of settings, uh, email services, every time. Email services, you'll want to get SendGrid or there's some other services like this to connect. Um, use other, but yeah, SendGrid, highly recommended. This is $20 a month. I have a specific video about how to set this up and also why you need to set this up in order to send your newsletter emails. Okay, so we've got social media, Google, payment processors, email processors and domain. Those are all the things that you're want to you're going to want to get into place in your settings in ClickSlow before you start building out the rest of your website and funnels.